A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay, all right, son, that's my chance. A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. So once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from this beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea, speaking to you all in the month of February 2020. God riches, blessing and love and grace upon mankind from this day forth and forevermore. Brothers and sisters, I was watching, um, well, of course, reaching out to, to my atheist brothers and sisters with my Christian right hand of fellowship, teaching them and pointing them to Jesus Christ, to the Word of God, and to God Himself. I was listening to Martin Waga and Madonna Lalti, and they are talking about the intelligent the design, and Matt. Matt Dunladulti is speaking out of ignorance. Both of he and Martin Waga, they are saying he's saying that the intelligent design in nature that is not the proof that God exists. Well, my dear friend Matt Dunladulti, if you do not know, you will know it today from this little Christian boy Eric Brooks and your Christian brother way down in Trinidad and Tobago. The intelligent design in nature, God designed it, and that is the proof that God exists my dear friend and you know these intelligent design in nature mad than the lulti with all the academic education you have you can design none of that god is more intelligent than each and every one of us more intelligent than the angels he designed it mad than the lulti that cell phone that you have if you open up you'll see how it's intelligently designed and if anything take wrong if anything if 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 if, if your phone stop working you will know nothing about the phone, the internal mechanism of the phone. If you try to fix it, if you try to fix it, first you do not know the mechanism of the phone, so you can't fix it. You have to send it to the peer man to, to fix it because he's training that field. And you, you are seeing this wonderful design in the phone. And you are seeing that is not intelligent design. It is intelligent, intelligently designed by man. So how you could say that intelligent design is not the proof that God exists? Did the phone design itself? Of course, you will say no. You know, is a man designed the phone, right? Well, but if you if you accept that a man designed the phone, you accept that a phone hundred percent. Well, if I tell you it's God designed the moon, mm -hmm. you don't want to accept that. You want to say the moon come about by some big bang, an evolution. You see the foolishness that you all are on, and I'm this. This what I'm trying to for Jesus Christ to free you all from that foolishness. The same way how there's designer, the cell phone, there's a designer, the moon and stars, and that one is God. God. Well, if I'm wrong, Matt Donald Delty, which I'm not wrong, but I'm just saying that. You know the person, and you, Matt Waga, and all my 80s brothers and sisters show the 80s community, not only in Dallas, Texas, but all over the world. The man that designed the cell phone, he can't create no moon. He can't design a moon and create a moon and put it up in the sky to shine, like the moon that we already have by God. No, he could only take things on the earth, matter, and make things out of it. But you see, the moon and the stars, nobody can make that. God himself make that. Ah, because you see, the moon and stars, God speak it into existence. But the designer who created the cell phone, he has speak not near his existence. He take materials and form it by the idea that he have in mind. You see, that's the difference. Oh, they didn't know that. Oh, well, that's why I'm teaching you all that. How do you think God created the sun? He speak the sun into existence by his thought of his mind and come into in the existence manifestation. That is the Bible say, oh God, he speak things into existence, but first he form it in his mind. Mm-hmm. Yes, the radio. The companies that are making the radio, they're not speaking life, living, they're not speaking radio into existence. You will see the technician, everybody have a job in the factory. This one making the cover the radio, the next one making the speaker, the next one making the producing the wires, the next one making plugs. And the, when they put all these parts together, then the man assembly the radio. Ah. But then, then, now that you are seeing, when you go in the factory, you are seeing a man 
we're talking over a mine and say radio and a live radio come into existence, radio and a next radio come into existence, fully make you are seeing that. Uh huh. That's the difference between God and us. And I want to teach you all that lesson. Yes, I want to teach you all that lesson perfectly well so that you all will learn it. I already learn it and I want you all to learn it too. Yes, God speak things into exist existence. Oh yes, he created the angels that way. The angels didn't come to no mother and the angels are no mother and they didn't went to no six biological, spiritual, biological um months. You know, female angels wound so they came out. No, God speak the angels into existence. He formed them, he shaped them and there's angels and they come into angels, live angels. Yes, that's what he did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the teaching of the scriptures. So Matt Donald Dalti and Matt Waga, you all have it wrong. The intelligent design in the universe proved to you that God exists. Oh yes, you all only talking, talking, talking in Dallas, Texas and that ATA show, you know. Only making all yourself a fool each day. A fool each day. And want other people to become fools like you all by denying that God exists. Well, Psalms 14 is singing over all of their head. A fool in his heart say there is no God. Yes, and all the Christians who believe in God, you all want them to become fools like you all. To throw away the Christianity, to dump the Bible in the dumpster, and come and join you all in all the atheist clique, atheist club. And say, no, we are atheists. We are part of the atheist experience, that negative experience that cannot benefit none. You want we to do that? No, we will hold on to the God. We will hold on to his creation. We will hold on to his power. We will hold on to, the, to his words, the Bible. We, and the intelligent design that he designed is of God. God is a master of creation. And all the intelligent design in the universe is God who bring it about. Yes, it will remain that way. And you, Matt Donald Dante and Wayne Waga, Will not Martin Waga, you all will not change that. You are just both of you all are just little mortals like myself, human beings who will live and die, and the creation will remain. And you all won't change nothing, mad than adulty. You are not that young as before. I see that you are getting down in age, but look, the sun is still shining. Go up and stop it from shining. Huh? You think you're bigger than God? Well, God created the sun, and you will die, and that sun will remain there. That is bigger than you. Bigger than me, bigger than mankind. None of us will be able to stop heaven. no sun from shining. You know why? Because God created the sun, the sun before mankind. God is in charge. He's the biggest in all. He's bigger than the angels to the angels and little angels. They might be big to us, but in the eyes of God, them is little angels. You understand? I want you all to know that too. So, Madan Adulti, you are getting down in age, my dear friend. And with all the intellectual talk and all the bright and all the your bright debates and you have your clever comeback and all these things and you have win the debate or have you have tied the debate and all these things. <laughs> oh yes, the day to my way to die. I can assure you the sun will be shining in the right ways and the moon hmm, first quarter, second quarter until it moon will light up. It will you're, you're born seeing it that way and when you die it will continue that way after you and you will be able to change nothing. That applied to me too. Why have I used that example? I have used that classical example to prove to you all that God is in charge. He's the master of creation. And none of us down here mortals will change these divine laws that he has set in motion. Ah, think about that, my dear friend. Think about that. That's why Eric Braxton, your little Christian brother, this little Caribbean boy in Trinidad and Tobago, have stepped to the fore to teach you all these things. You all with all the PhD and MA a master degree will not be able to change that but look the moon you see it first quarter light up the second quarter then we get full moon all with all phd that denying that god doesn't exist will change that now change the law change the law of the moon now you all will not be able to do that all the talk all the talking and all the prestige that you all have gained in the community with all the books and autograph that you all have get you all will be able to change the sun from shining and you to stop the sun from shining and if and the and the moon lighting up the first quarter you all will be able to stop that you all will die and you all will die and go all to all the grave and when all the dead and buried the sun will still the sun will still be shining how god designed it to shine and look the first quarter the moon 
the second quarter, the third and the Telling moon light up, it will continue so tell quickly because God designed it so and none of you all will be able to stop these things because that is bigger than all of us. I want you all to learn that lesson for 2020 if you all did not learn it in 2019. Well, if you if you all say Eric Braxton is rude to you all, he claimed to be Christian, but look how he's speaking rude to us. <laughs> you think he's brighter than us? I ever said that I'm brighter than you all? I'm teaching you all the facts. Well, if you all say I speak in nonsensical foolishness and rubbish, well, then stop the moon from shine, shining light going through the four phases and then stop the sun from shining. Any of you all could do that? I know Matt Dandadlati, you cannot do it. And I know Martin Baga, you cannot do it. And all the rest of you all cannot do it. I myself cannot do it. Uh -huh. I'm teaching you all that lesson so that you all will learn that you all appreciate what I'm saying, ah, that you all recognize ah, that God is in charge. Mm -hmm. And all the talk we're talking down here, we can't even change anything that is taking place up there. Uh -huh. We think we're bigger than him. We are bigger than God. No way. We only fooling ourselves at the end of the day if we think that way. Uh -huh. So I've used that example. Well, try to change it now. Try to change that example. You think you're brighter and more clever than God? Well, try to build a ladder like how the people build the tower in Genesis. Well, go up and try to climb up now or get the spaceship. Ask NASA to borrow one of the horrendous spaceship and go up and go up to the moon and try to bring your own mechanism, technique, or technology, or prevent that technology to stop the moon from lightning up going through the phase quarters. Uh, well, you think you could change that. You wouldn't have to even to change that, my dear friend. Mm -hmm. Well, go up and try to stop the moon from the sun from shining, huh? Uh -huh. Or try to make the sun, God designed it to rise in the east and in the west. Tell the John design again, because it's not rising in the, in the west. It's not rising in the north and setting in the south. Well, change it around now, Mad and Lanti, and all the rest who thinking like you. Try to make the sun rise in the north and set in the south. Change around that, that divine law. A God for me now, I challenge you to do that. You will not be able to do that, my dear friend. Uh, why am I teaching you all that? Teaching you all that God is in charge. And all the old talk, all they're getting on and all the debates in Dallas, Texas, and the ATA show, you all will not be able to change none of that. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Amen and amen. Shalom, peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen.